missing a few months ago? It was all over the news. I held him down. Split his skull up. And I thought we were done. Hello, and it's Lisa here from Lisa Loves Channel to do a review for you for Geek Legion of Doom. And today we're talking about a movie by the name of Off Season. This one is directed by director and photographer Robert Cole and it's written by Eric Liebling. Some of the stars of this movie we have are Jessica Cadden Osborne, who plays our main character, Lena, Chance Kelly, who plays Kellen, and Amanda, Amanda Good Hennessy, who plays Becca, that's Kellen's wife. We also have a young star, Braden Clark, who plays Sadie. She plays Becca and Kellen's daughter. So a premise, a synopsis. Um, Lena has been working in Martha's Vineyard. She is due to return home, but her plans to return home fall through. Um, and she has very kindly offered some work on a local farm by farmer Kellen and his wife, Becca. They have a young daughter called Braden, who Lena forms a very close relationship with. Um, Sadie is quite precocious. She's She's a switched on little girl, she's quite tough. She's used to farm life, she's used to how things are there, the life and death that happens on a farm. Um, but she doesn't connect very well with most people, but she does form this immediate bond with Lena, the main character of the movie. Um, and as Lena gets to know Sadie better, she discovers that Sadie is quite a troubled little girl and there perhaps are things going on on this farm that the eye cannot see. There's perhaps more underneath that surface. One of the um, staff from the farm actually disappears at one stage in the movie and we begin to question what's going on, who's responsible, um, what is beneath the idyllic surface on the farm. So that's a basic premise for you. I don't really like to give more of a synopsis as to give any details away. What did I think of the movie? Right, the cinematography in this movie is beautiful, it's very well shot. Um, from looking at um, images when I went to search for images for this review, it's very clear there was a very sort of warm family-like almost environment amongst the staff, amongst everyone that worked on the movie, actors and people behind the scenes. It seemed to be a very close-knit group here and that was very nice to see. As I say, the cinematography was beautiful, some gorgeous scenes. Um, the acting in this was fine. Um, there was nothing, you know, it didn't appear low budget, it didn't appear like there was bad acting or everyone, anyone was overacting or underacting. Um, the acting was spot on. My problem with this movie lies within the story. Um, the story in this to me was just too lacklustre. It, it was weak. I didn't feel that enough happened. Um, it is listed as a horror thriller. Um, I find myself quite bored watching this movie. Um, as I said, it, it has beautiful cinematography, it doesn't feel low budget, um, it has a nice feel about it, it has a nice atmosphere about it. The acting in this is superb from everyone concerned, I can't, I can't say anything bad about that, but the storyline needed more. There was a spark missing there. And I'm not saying I need blood, guts and gore, I'm not saying I need there to be people dying every, you know, that's not my bag really. I like a good thriller, I like a slow burn, I like when we, we sort of get to know characters throughout the movie and that is the case in this, we do get to know the characters a little bit but we don't know enough about the char characters to have that empathy. Um, it was kind of obvious to me where the film was going and what was going to happen and how it was going to end. It, it was, I find it quite predictable. Um, I, as I say, I don't like to, to criticise a movie. It's obvious a lot of love went into this. Um, it's very well shot, it looks beautiful, the acting is superb, but it was missing that little je ne sais quoi for me. Um, in saying that, that it may appeal to you. Um, as I said, it's a very slow burn. We do get to know the main character, Lena, as the movie goes through. We get to know a little bit about Sadie, the little girl. But any other characters are kind of incidental. We don't get to know that much about them and I do feel that it is a bit predictable on where it goes. So Off Season is due to be released on the 15th of March. It's a limited theatrical release to start with across 10 different US cities. So um, even if you don't get to see this in the theatres, I'm sure when it comes to VOD, DVD, you will be able to check it out. Um, so does it look like something that speaks to you, look like something you would enjoy? Have you seen the trailer? Um, do you like the sound of it from what I've said? It possibly is a personal thing, you may prefer it to me, but for me personally I felt the story was a bit lacking. 
um, I did find myself being distracted. I, I did find it a bit slow, a bit dull. But as I say, let me know below in the comments what you think and I look forward to speaking to you next time.